Hi, I'm Claire and today we're going to do an unboxing because this came in the mail yesterday. It's a giant package from Tor.com Publishing that I wasn't expecting so I'm super excited about it. I can't believe I actually managed to hold off opening it for an entire day so I could film it for you guys. So I feel like I, you know, deserve internet points just for that. I'm really excited about this because Tor Books and Tor.com Publishing both put out some really, really great books. And if you've seen my most anticipated releases of 2018 video, you'll know there were a lot of Tor titles in that. But without further ado, let's get into the box. I'm holding this very precariously on my knee so you can see me opening it. This is really exciting content, y'all. Just don't open boxes like this at home, kids. All right, we've got an open box and I'm gonna try not to look too much at what's in it or, you know, poke the tripod with the box itself. But oh my goodness. Oh, yes, oh my God, it's a giant box. Okay, this is not in fact a ton of different books. This is a giant box set of Matt Wallace's Cindy Shore series, which, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Now this comes with a recipe card in it with like a little bit of flavor text on the front and then all of the books listed in the back in order, which is good because I couldn't quite remember the order. This is like a food base urban fantasy novella series with seven books in it and each one of them is centered around like a cardinal sin. I've read the first novella but I was kind of waiting for all the series to be finished to kind of like binge read all of them. This is really heavy to hold. Oh and there's other stuff as well in the box. This is the first book Envy of Angels and this is the one that I've read. This one introduces our protagonists Lena and Darren who uh, work in the restaurant industry in New York City and are kind of like going from job to job their best friends and then one day they get a job that is working at a catering company that caters for demons and so they have to do stuff like figure out a recipe to cook an angel in particular in this book I think. I read this a couple of years ago so I'm definitely going to uh, read it again before I proceed to the rest of the series. Book two is Lust Locked and as you can see it's got this like wedding invite kind of look and in this one uh, they are hired by the Goblin King and Goblin Queen to cater the marriage feast of their son to a human bride so that seems fun. Then we've got Pride's Spell and this one is movie themed apparently in this one they have to go to Hollywood to cater for something cinema related and that's quite exciting because Matt Wallace uh, is a TV writer and has like lived and worked in Hollywood for a while so I think this is gonna have some interesting tidbits in it. Book four is Idle Ingredients in which the catering company has to cater for a motivational speaker and his people so that seems like it's gonna have like kind of fun cult type things in it maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'm reaching because I love cults but it sounds like I will be into it and then Book five is Greedy Pigs, in which they have to cater a dinner for the President of the United States and his entourage. So, uh, can't wait to see who in the entourage of the US President is in fact like demons and magical creatures and stuff. Book six is Gluttony Bay, which is about a high security prison for like monsters and magical creatures and the like so presumably they're going to cater there as well and this is the last one that's currently out in stores on the internet to purchase and then I've got an arc of taste of wrath which comes out April 10th 2018 and in this one there's like basically a turf war with I th think another catering organization. I wasn't quite sure from the back of the book but this is uh, quite a bit longer than the other books. It's still a novella but it clocks in at about 250 pages so there's you know some meaty stuff there to end the series and then <laughs> we've got other stuff in the box as well. Sorry, crinkly paper is super loud. We've got some lovely adorable Tor.com pin badges. I'll put up a 
picture of them because they're quite small but those are adorable and have rockets on them and I'm definitely going to be putting them everywhere. Now the other things I have in this box apart from the books which like I didn't immediately notice because I was so excited about the books are this jar of hot sauce which I'm going to be straight with you, I'm not going to be using this because I'm the wussiest when it comes to spice. We don't really use a lot of spices in French food and this is like a hot sauce with scotch bonnet peppers in it but I know exactly who I'm going to give it to and they'll be very happy about it. And then the final thing that we had in the box was this tiny whisk which like would be perfect for you know mug cakes or small things and I actually already have a whisk like this but it's like dying of overuse so this is actually going to be super useful and it has a little card there that says Matt Wallace's Sin Du Jour series seven books for seven deadly sins. Look how good they all look together like they're going to look so good on my shelf. Seriously, these covers are amazing. I really love the kind of style that they've gone for all of them and they're all very different, but at the same time, it's pretty clear that they all come from the same series. I'm so excited to like get stuck into the series properly and have all of it so I can read all through it super fast because like I'm a binge reader and a binge watcher. Like I'm not good with episodic series things but I've had my eye on this one for a long time like I read the first novella I think two years ago but it was the first time I was reading a novella and I wasn't super comfortable with the format I thought the pacing was a little off because it was finished so quickly and I think now that I've gotten a lot more comfortable with reading shorter fiction be it short stories all the way up to novellas it will be a different experience for me when I read those and I'm also confident that they are going to be really great because Rachel over at Kalinadi loves this series and I really trust her judgment. So that's it, this was my tour.com publishing unboxing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I was so so happy to receive these, like I did not expect to get a full set of them. This is amazing, I'm super excited. Yeah, let me know in the comments below if you've been reading this series if you've been enjoying it as well and if you'd like to see more from me you can check out a previous video right about here and if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button that's on my face right about here for more videos from me every week. I've been Claire, thanks so much for watching and see you soon!